Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Planar Conquest with no fair fights. And today it's time to shine for our mage. He's fighting elves and we'll see what spells can do. He has a mantle of extra mana, he has a ring and a helmet of mundane protection plus 20 in the end. And the question is how much damage can our friends do with spell and we'll open with Rack. That is a very costly spell, it will use most of his mana, but it will do absolutely awesome stuff on the enemy, as we will surely see. Oh, oh look at this! Great, isn't it? So, we have to do something that our able guy is able to fight in melee, because that is what we're in from this second on. The enemy, however, isn't that taking that much damage from our spells, sadly, because they resisted. And I cannot cast the spell twice, sadly, because I don't have enough mana. Yay! We need to do more damage here. Our damage potential is abyssal at best. That's because the guy's got no weapon. Unholy weapon, because those are creatures of life. The problem is the hitting part. Yeah, but, well, oh, look at this. It's actually too many of them still resisting our attacks, or our spell. We can do one more attack spell, which I think will be Fireblade, because those things are normally not resistant to fire. So that will serve as good here. But this horseman make me nervous because perhaps they have the ability to overcome our mundane damage resistance. Flaming weapon, please. One horsey dead. One more horsey dead. Yay! The mages will run out of spell points, so that is not our problem, and so will the close combat fight the Feradax. I think they're Feradaxes, aren't they? Or they might be simply rangers for that matter. I think the Feradaxes look different. If you consider the fact that we're not carrying any real close combat weapon and sacked of a staff of wood, we're actually doing quite good damage here. I think our spell has killed everyone it can on the battlefield, so the rest is good. Up to good old closed hand combat. Oh, we get damage, but we healed the damage immediately. That's the good thing about this lich here. I think. I still think we should do, try to find a weapon for the guy. Oh, well, I do, well, on the other hand, what kind of weapon can a mage use? I thought daggers, but apparently they can't. That leaves us with the good, good old staff of wood, actually. But perhaps we can get an enchanted version there. Yay! You cannot touch me, but I can touch you. And you're out. If I were you, I would try to flee. No, but he's a ranger. He fights to the end. And that is the end. Oh, look at that. We could become a warlock. And all our range attack will count as touch attack. We could be an enchanter. We could be a sage. We could be a focuser. We could take, for example, Pyromancer or Geomancer to do additional D6 Acid or Fire damage with our staff, which is terrible. We have new spells available. Eye of Entropy is quite great. False Life, maximum hit points, and every tune, 2D6 negative energy. I think that would actually heal him. Damage every turn 2d6. Yeah, I think that would heal him. 
<laughs> so we take the enchanted to have more argumentation. Uh, no, we don't want to go through the prime argumentation. We have now 8-8. Eight, eight. Isn't that beautiful? That's actually quite nice. Okay, let's have a look what else <clears throat> we could kill. Still think that we should take those guys over. But we have no movement points left. You druid. Uh, no, actually, I don't need you here. I need you there. There is the siphon. Okay. I think it would be even easier to simply build a settler, send him there and make a city there. We've moved so much rubbish around here. Okay, you're idle. Marketplace costs one gold. What is our city income? Minus, oh boy. We're getting bankrupt here. Okay, we need housing. How much housing does that make difference? Yes, you need housing. And you? You need housing as well. I think we need housing with everyone. If we got more population, they will produce money on their own, and that would really help the cause. You should split off. I want you. Not enough movement points. It costs three movement points to walk on a hill. Oh boy, a mountain, that is okay. Uh, then I want you to go here, and then I want you to go there. I want this. How many druids do we have? Oh, we actually have a couple. And they're much closer to that. We cannot interact here, but you, uh, you cannot join them. Uh, you cannot move. You cannot move. You must go down there to activate to be stationed there. Mercenaries, you know what? Can you train me? Oh, no, I don't want pioneers. Ah, uh, crap. They cannot even build basic units because they don't have a smithy. Okay, build that, and next turn you'll build me what I need. We've got a lot of food overproduction. Let's see what we can do about that. Okay, still positive. Could buy the guy and then start immediately that. Oh great, that didn't help. I just wasted 80 gold. I'm an idiot. It's official. Okay, you will go for that. You... The fire knot would be interesting, but there is nothing we can do about the fire knot at this point. Oh, but we might be. We might be, because theoretically speaking, he is able to clear out the fire knot if we got our spell up. Okay. You will move there as fast as you can. You will join the team here. Cannot interact for that turn. You've got the full movement of the party. And I think you should go after the undead here. Because you can theoretically kill those off. Actually he cannot because he's a miserable fighter. Can he take those down? No. Can he can take those down? No. Okay, so I will simply send you this way. You will get an army eventually. And I want you to disequip that. And this, and that, and this. And then I want all that stuff on him. Especially this thing here. Wait, 
Wait, wait, wait, wait. Uh, wrong. Wrong person. Now you should be able to move. No, he's still not able to reach it in one turn. Miserable. Um, you... I'm thinking I'm, I'm building absolutely rubbish here. I'm 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 losing it. What are you building? You're building the bang. You're building the temple to unrest to reduce but that is not even making any any sense at all. If I say build housing, how much more housing do you get? Yes, we need the housing because every citizen produces power and every citizen produces gold. So that is helping me more to have more people than um building anything else and you've just be able to train archers which we actually don't need because this archer will be there anyway so that was a misbuild I'm an idiot it's official oh boy come on you must be kidding me at least she's got movement what is here? Angels. Provides power for the living. Uh, but those guys I think are pretty dangerous. And she's not really a killer. Elven Hussars. How much damage does an angel do? Ha <laughs> ha, too much for our little lady here. Okay, at least there's some gold involved. Get into the boat. Three research points. Honestly, that is all you can offer. Now I've got two units in the same region. That, that does not make any sense at all. Our food production is negative, but we've got enough food to spare for the moment, so that is not the main problem. Where did you come from, sir? You will go for the fire nod. Oh, great. Idiots all over the place. Okay, we'll station you here. You go on... Fortify. Good work. You will go for the Siphon. Cannot even go there. Moron. Oh, he does not have the cloak. So he's not going to move anywhere. You cannot fight those. The question is where did they come from? And how many of them are there? Just one. Okay, one we can handle. But we must find out where he came from. You will go for the stash. Holy crap, that's an army. Okay, that will be a special episode, of course. You will have a special episode for that. And we'll have a special episode for those guys. Okay. So at least that's not going down the hill. Although my movement and my city planning is tr quite terrible right from the start. So we'll see each other next time. Until then, bye.